Camp I see a report of fire is spreading to a structure. 3488 Hoffman. So today, if you needed to respond to an emergency, if someone around you got hurt, you would know exactly which three digit number to call. However, if you needed to respond to an emergency, like you needed to evacuate, for example, or get out of harm's way, you don't necessarily know where to get the information you need to respond. We are completely trapped. There's fire on all sides, all around us. With nearly 19,000 firefighters on the front lines across California, exhausted crews are still battling five of the six largest infernos in state history. There's some incidents where we get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning, anything from then to 5 in the morning, and it can go on till 10 at night or till 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Every incident is different. My name is Shanaz Davis, and I'm the unit manager for Thunder Mountain Catering. So a lot of cleaning, a lot of packing, and so use your time wisely, and make sure that you're on the task or get off the clock. I'm going on my sixth year uh, with Thunder Mountain Catering, and I got into it because my husband and I, we opened a restaurant back in 2012, and um, being your own boss is not necessarily mean that you're making an income. So I had to find other resources to get an income to support our family. So I got a hold of Thunder Mountain Catering and he hired me and I went and did one fire. And after that fire, I was hired on to manage the unit back in 2014. It's challenging and I love the, every fire is different and it's also I feel like I'm doing something for the community and um, it, it's just a great thing I couldn't see myself doing anything else and my husband and I actually gave up our restaurants to commit ourselves to doing this 100% you have like within an hour to be on the road and get your crew to go and all meet at the yard and be on the road heading to a fire and that can be like three hours away seven nine hours away you know on the road so it, it's a long process those first 48 hours of a fire call is intense My name is Bailey Farron, I am 24 years old and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Perimeter. I graduated from UC Berkeley in 2019 and there I studied rhetoric and cognitive science. And in my, in my first year, absolutely not. There is no way I could have imagined that three years later I'd be the CEO of a company that um, exists on the intersection of data science and public safety. That definitely would have sounded wild to me at the time. The inspiration behind Perimeter was the Tubbs fire in Santa Rosa in 2017. Um, I have been exposed to wildfires my whole life because my dad is a firefighter in Petaluma, California. Um, but really it was the Tubbs fire in 2017 that gave me my first, um, I guess, inside perspective into what wildfires and wildfire evacuations really were like. And during the Tubbs fire, we had to evacuate with no information about where to go or how to get there. And, you know, during that fire, I was simultaneously enrolled in my first computer science class at UC Berkeley. And I felt like I was swimming in modern technology. And yet when I needed real time information about how to respond the most, I didn't have any of it. And so really setting out to get that kind of information into the hands of citizens uh, is what we set out to do in, in 2017. The Tubbs fire started just after 9.45 p.m. on October 8th, 2017. The burn rate of this fire was a football field a minute. 
It moved at a rapid speed and burned 36,807 acres, destroyed 5,636 structures, and killed 22 people. I started asking a lot of questions. I thought that first responders and firefighters had all the information they needed to make decisions. They just didn't have an interface to get that information into the hands of citizens like me. But that assumption was completely incorrect. I learned after the Tufts fire that firefighters like my dad are still primarily relying on paper maps and radios to contain some of the largest wildfire incidents and emergencies that we've ever seen. Perimeter is a collaborative, dynamic, map-based system that allows first responders and citizens to visualize incident and emergency information that they might need to respond to. Our platform allows first responders to collect input and share information with each other and with citizens so that everyone who's being affected by an emergency can do so as effectively as possible. I need to turn this up a little bit. Oh, this is off. <laughs> That's the first step I was teaching you. Yeah, what okay, you want to do okay. is always look at your surroundings. You know, so scratch what Corn Dog just said. Um, a lot of other companies, they don't have the family unity that I feel like our TMC family have. So I, a lot of these kids, I consider my kids at camp and stuff, even though we're all the same age or something, but I still call them my kids. I was gonna hate my dad attitude, he said, you're not playing, son. You know I'm just playing with you anyway, more dog. Let's talk to you, Chuck. Make me look bad in front of my apprentice. <laughs> Do that by yourself. Hey, I make them laugh, okay? My methods are my methods. Hey, I've been laughing at you since I started here. I'm here with you, See, that's, with you. That's what with I went, you. yeah, yeah. With, with me, I, I, I only heard that part. It brought us close because like I said, my husband and I, um, our youngest is 17. And since they were 16, they started doing fire. So it's, we've had four girls that have all done fire with us. And we've spent Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's at a fire before. And so we had to fly our kids in to come spend Christmas or the holidays with us because this is our life now. And, and they love it, you know, it's, it's challenging. They get to work, they, they know what hard work is, they learn from it, so I, I don't know. My family, personally, we've been evacuated four times in the past four years, two of which have been this fire season. And so the fires recently and, you know, the fires that I knew my dad was, was off fighting growing up have been, you know, hugely important, not only to my personal development, but to the development of Perimeter. And it's been, you know, a pretty significant factor in our understanding of, of the problem and how to solve it. At Perimeter, we want to become that one place that you know, as a citizen, I can get emergency information about what to do, how to protect myself, my family, my community, by going to Perimeter's website, by going to our app, by going to our web app. We need to make sure that we can be the bridge that, that really interfaces between public safety agencies and the general public. Being able to communicate is going to be one of the most essential aspects of being able to combat these fires and save the lives and livelihoods of many people across the United States. At first, the app is primarily going to be accessible in California and on the West Coast of the United States. However, as we've seen over the past few years, floods and wildfires and disasters are, of course, international. And we expect that the reach of perimeter will be you know, across the United States and eventually global. Our season usually ends in October 31st, but for the last um, three years, I believe, we've extended that. And like right now, I'm at a fire, but it's not necessarily catering to firefighters. It's on a different level. We're catering to the linemen. They're fixing the power, the gas lines and stuff like that. So now we're, we're working outside of our, our contract um, months and we're, we're, it's way above and beyond that. So um, 
I don't know if there's such a thing anymore that fire season ends in October because it's been a couple of years now that we've worked all winter long. We do require a lot of workers, but we also have a lot of committed workers that have been coming back and back, so year after year. We had a third kitchen as well that went out this year for the first time. Um, so yeah, it's been a long season. We pretty much work from June all the way till right now, and it's November. The only relationship we go through is just seeing the the appreciation that they give us when they're coming to get a hot meal after like so many hours out in the field and working so hard and stuff like that. So just seeing them appreciate being so thankful of what we do to them is more likely we're thankful for what they're doing for us. So just seeing that interaction is, I don't know, it, it's what makes me wake up the next morning and appreciate what I do for a living. When you get to wake up thinking about the work that you're doing as being incredibly impactful for communities that you care about, that's really exciting. It's being featured in press can be exhilarating as well. I think as long as we can persevere through some of the more challenging aspects of what it means to start a company, then we'll be able to have a pretty significant impact in the communities that we're looking to serve. I think one of the most important things for all citizens to take into account, especially if you live in a fire prone area, is that while typically we've been able to depend on first responders to you know, show up at, at our time of crisis, whenever and wherever we need them, because we've seen so many fires over the past few years, firefighters and a lot of their resources are, are really spread thin across California and the West Coast. And so what citizens really need to be thinking about is how we can take a lot of our own safety and the safety of our families into our own hands. So that looks like making sure you know how to create a defensible space around your home, making sure you know what kind of dry brush and weeds are flammable and what might pose a risk to you and your community, as well as ways of, of hardening your home. And I think Cal Fire does a really good job of providing a lot of these resources and we do the same on our website. In our eyes, it's a blessing to us to have work. You know, it, it's a tragedy and it's a disaster, but you know, when you're in our line of work, it's a good season for us. That's why I got into it, was looking for a way out from the struggles that we were going through. This has totally been a blessing to our family. I grew up in the restaurant business, so this is just restaurant on wheels, and it's the same thing. It's my passion, and I'm still doing what I love to do, just on a different level. Thank you.